Hey guys, I'm Yash. So today I will show you how to use a web view. Uh, we will be loading a Google homepage. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it web view and uh, do match this uh, settings. Hit next, save it wherever you want. Okay. Yep. Replace. Okay. I'll select iPhone 6 over here. Okay. Under main dot storyboard, uh, drag and drop a web view. Uh, we will uh, scale it to full size. Uh, first of all, click this view and change its background color so you can see the difference. Okay. Now this is our web view. Uh, we will add some constraints. It will be zero from top, zero from left, zero from right, and zero from bottom. And it will not be constrained to margins. So uncheck this box and update frames, items of new constraints. Uh, this will adapt to the new settings, uh, new constraints. So add four constraints. Here we have it. So let's connect this to our uh, Swift file. Control drag and name it web view and hit connect. So we are done with the storyboard. So let's hop over to our view controller. Here we have it. Uh, switch back to standard editor. So get rid of this. Uh, okay, so it's very simple. Under view did load, we will type web view. Uh, first of all, let's fetch the URL string. So here it is. So just hit uh, copy and uh, paste it in Xcode. So let uh, mm, Google is equal to make it a string and paste it there. So we have it. Now uh, let's use it. Web view. Uh, this is the name of the variable you gave. Dot <coughs> load request. Uh, as you see, it's of type URL request. So type URL request. Again, put a parenthesis. You will find a URL. So we will be using this uh, initiator. Now we need a URL so type in URL again a constructor and this will be of type string string okay uh, this one and uh, now here we will pass in our Google uh, constant we created so Google and uh, we need to add a few more parentheses as you see this was for the last one one more and one more and uh, we will uh, unwrap this uh, URL so there will be no errors here we have it guys, let's run our app. Okay, iPhone is loading. Uh, you can load any uh, page, you can uh, load your website page or anything. So here we have it, uh, you can also interact with it. Uh, as I can, Apple, okay, doesn't matter, okay. so it will scroll it will do anything this will become your browser you know simple and so that's how you use a web view thank you guys keep watching